listening and the important part of this podcast is that you take us to your spiritual journey that is with autobiography of yogi with paramanth yogananda ji i'm ranchi is where uh, yss was started by paramanth yogananda ranchi has the ashram of yss which is the most peaceful ashram i've ever seen beautiful love and you will never have to walk in your life so today i welcome all of you in this brand new podcast with vivek atre sir welcome to this anand yatra platform thank you thank you how are you sir i am fine thank you for inviting me acha laga mujhe great to have you and we are honored to have you on this platform from an ias officer who turned from an ias into an motivational tedx speaker mentor and an author so that I also became a spiritually minded person. I follow Paramahansa Yogananda, Great. author of the autobiography Great. of Yogi. So that's how it happened. And that is from where we met. Uh, there I saw you like a simple person who is meditating simply with closed eyes, sitting blissfully. So uh, that meditation and spiritual thinking, like we are connected. I think uh, you you mentioned your favorite book is one and uh, none other book than autobiography of Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. Uh, uh, <laughs> amazing, sir! Amazing. Thank you for that. And I want to know from you, like, how that book transformed your life? Is that the book? Because uh, what you are talking about, I don't think like it is from like initially like you are born with that. Somewhere, some point came in your life. It's like a pinpoint which somewhere make you thought the other way around. can you take us to that journey yes so it's a very good question you see most let's talk about india most indians are simple fun loving cheerful people of course if you are poor if you are poor you are in trouble then that's a different matter but most indians are you know normally they are simple people and they are good human beings typical typical you may have exception people might think sab kharab hai ye wo hai but it's not like <laughs> yeah they, generally you look at the housewife you look at the clerk who is going to office with his tiffin bag you look at the little boys girls who are going to school you look at the older people who are sitting by the road side they are good human beings overall mm. now to take life to another level you need spirituality good being good is all right but indian scriptures and the saint says a good life good karma largely good life could take you a thousand incarnations to find god because you lived a good life but you did not really follow any spiritual practice it may take another thousand incarnation let us presume mm, mm, mm. now i found this book to tell me and my wife read it first again my wife was taking the lead there she read <laughs> it she told me about it i start i was busy in my work i started following a little bit of what she was reading i read the whole book in one year i took i think because it was so oh, oh. Uh, long and detailed and i was busy i used to read one chapter two chapters So then I realized that there is something meaningful in this. Plus the stresses of career also started and I used to go and meditate a little bit and I got the lessons of meditation which uh, after reading the book most people who uh, follow this path of kriya yoga uh, set out by Paramahansa mm-hmm. Yogananda author of the autobiography of a yogi they read the lessons of meditation Yogda Satsang Society YSS we follow. So we started reading the lesson and practicing the techniques gradually now it has been about 16 years for me. Oh, and amazing! It's been about twenty years for my wife, I think. Uh-huh. And in these sixteen years, we became regular yogis in a way, because we practiced uh-huh. yoga and meditation. Yoga mm. is basically, as you know, you know much more than I do. Yoga includes the meditation path, and it is not only physical exercises. And True. it is basically kriya yoga is the path which we follow for union with God. Now, whether we are advancing that much or we are making little progress, etc., the saint who talks. some swami ji's we have the monks we have they tell us you make your effort the rest mm. you leave to the divine there is a saying you walk a little bit and god will start running towards you you walk towards him only a little bit and he will run towards you so who is making more progress god is making more progress towards you because you are only walking a little bit yes. so god is with you in all your happy and sad moments that you do not realize until you start reading like this practicing meditation being grateful for what you have then you realize that god was there all the time and when you start connecting with the lord when you start practicing your techniques of meditation and yoga or whatever you are doing and in the daytime in the middle of the day in the middle of the night you have this sense of gratefulness 
that uh, thank you god for this yeah whatever it is you say something you say om or whatever you say in your mind you are connecting with the lord you remember old the time ladies my nani ji she would go on saying something like you know uh, hari krishna hari krishna or uh, hari krishna or you know something something she will say hey ram hey ram so these things or you know uh, sikh lady may say wahe guru wahe guru it's basically mm. it is basically connecting you with the lord some people will go to bhakti yoga and uh, they will go to raj yoga they will go to whatever it is so it is basically something which you have to do in your life it is not an option so as a practical person i am saying this you are a practical person we are talking about the fact that yoga and meditation are important for all human beings i benefited people can benefit one thing i benefited is at the practical level that i became a calmer person able to handle the troubles of life much better deeper level is oneness with god the more you meditate the more you realize you are not the body you are the soul and that realization may not be complete but gradually you start progressing it people say that it happens in one day but it doesn't happen in one day <laughs> when you start experiencing the joy within then you are imbibing the qualities of god and paramanand yogananda in this book his guru tells him when he is a young boy Uh, Paramahansa Yogananda ji goes to him as a young boy. He was about maybe 14 years old. But he says, uh, uh, "Guru ji, I can't see God." He says, mm-hmm. "What do you think? God is some uh, sitting in some throne <laughs> in the antiseptic corner of the universe, mm-hmm. waiting for you." No, mm-hmm. he says, "God is within you. You have found him already." <laughs> And he gives him the divine experience. And then Paramahansa Yogananda realizes that uh, samadhi experience, and it's a wonderful uh, story. Amazing Vivek ji, and what I feel, I think I am connected to you because this is the same thing. The next question was in my mind: Can you tell me little more about the God? And suddenly you did it that way. So that's the beauty and amazing thing. Uh, like uh, I wanted to know, as you already said, God is not something because somewhere, as a human being, we think God is a something like human being like us to us. Yes, but in some way, when we meditate, then we taste something. It's like an inner experience. Like somewhere yeah. when I get some yes, so can you take a little bit more deeper because like you you are telling me twenty years your wife is doing uh, that meditation, sixteen years you are doing. So initially when I was I started it was a very painful experience for me because all the memories and all things were came to my mind. But suddenly suddenly as I move on now it's something like I'm okay with it, I'm balanced with it, find the joy. So initially how was the thing like is it the same for you? How if you look yourself when you started and now what are the changes that you felt? The one thing I think you tell the calmness that you were feeling. Anything other than that? Yes, I think uh, a few other changes. Calmness definitely. and uh, i used to not be a very angry person but sometimes you lose your temper i was a chill <laughs> by birth but now i don't find uh, that i lose my temper at all mm. it's very difficult to get me to lose my cool and it may be months before i say something loudly to someone so i find that is the biggest benefit thirdly you start understanding life a little better some problem may have occurred in life you start not accepting it but you start realizing that this is a test for how do i handle it so the story that i will tell you uh, to highlight this point is that uh, the story is one person goes to heaven let us presume there is a heaven and he goes there mm-hmm. and there is a saint over there waiting for him and he says hello you have come after a life now how was your life on the earth he says it was very good but this one neighbor of mine he kept troubling <laughs> so he said uh, what have why are you talking about the neighbor tell me about your own uh, experience he said no it was a good experience is that but this neighbor was very bad to Hmm. So now this saint says to him, "We are not interested in your neighbor. We are interested in your response to the neighbor's action. <laughs> yes. How do you handle it? What is your story? You are the hero of your story. You talk about yourself. Hmm. When that when that neighbor comes to us later, we will ask him why did you trouble him, right? So we are the hero of our own story. All the tests and trials are there to test us, and they are." Maybe the result of a karmic uh, influence. Nobody is perfect. We have come here to improve. One of our uh, monks in YSS says, "This school is, and from school, to pass, you can't get out. You can't get out. You can't get out. So, if you have to come to school once or twice, you have to get out. So, how do you get out? You have to get out. So, how do you get out? You have to get out. So, how do you get out? You have to get out. And the other thing that Paramahans Yogananda says in this book and scriptures also say, when you connect with the divine. He wipes out your karma also. 
because mm. you cannot work out all your karma of the past lives in, in one life but if you connect with the lord he sees your effort he sees your keenness he sees your uh, sincerity and he wipes out he forgives he is a mother father divine so ye sab uh, concepts hain hamare scriptures mein kai baar hum usko complicate karte hain ye bhi karna hai wo bhi karna hai wo bhi padhna hai wo bhi karna hai wo bhi karna hai padhai zyada na kare practice kar that is my real love. अमेजिंग और इसी से मुझे याद आया स्वामी जी ये भी कहते हैं इट नॉट जस्ट दैट कहते हैं ना कि प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट तो ही एड परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट इट्स नॉट जस्ट सिंपल प्रैक्टिस बट दैट प्रैक्टिस शुड आल्सो बी प्रॉपर्ली अलाइंड एंड प्रॉपर्ली टारगेटेड या सो कमिंग रियली कमिंग टू द बेस्ट दिस वाज अ रियली बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस कन्वर्सेशन yeah and uh, last final point that i want to know from you like we talk about all the good points the challenges that we felt any challenges that you felt like you learned early in your life like uh, the changes that you need to make and some changes still that you want to upgrade yourself in future like still you are uh, working on those anything you can enlighten us to that because that is something which is going to guide us because everyone yeah. like as you said is not perfect like i am also yeah. working on so many things so anything on that Yeah I think for youngsters I would say one of the things I learned early in life but I could not apply it very quickly now I am able to is that do not worry too much about what others think you see yes. parents parents and family are important closest friend is important mm. what auntie ji thinks or masi ji thinks or somebody or down the road some neighbor or somebody or even some distant person or colleague says something about you don't take it to heart don't be too affected by those things people will talk people will say You are playing cricket. You are sincere. Somebody will say, "Parta parta nii hai, kitta rehta hai." But you are a sincere sportsman. You go for it. Study also, mm. play also. If you feel that you didn't do well in your sport or your work or your life, and you failed at times, people are talking about it. How will, what will they think? Ye nii sochna. So don't mm. get into what people think. Overthinking about what people think should be avoided. That is one. Now in this stage of life, I'm still learning certain other things. I am learning also to. Uh, calm myself down to the extent that i am absolutely joyful within so if i am uh, involved in little things ye ticket aaya ke nahi aaya wo flight ka time ho gaya hai ya wo yes. uh, ye ho gaya breakfast jaldi ke liye matlab jaldi to ye to uh, ye to chalta rahega so i yes. really have to raise the level of my consciousness and find that joy be joyful i have seen monks when they have to catch a train they are not restless and recently we were seeing off one monk and uh, there was some confusion in the platform is pe aayegi us pe aayegi but the announcement was not clear at the railway station there were a lot of people and uh, that monk said to somebody he says uh, what does it matter he says theek hai train aayegi nahi aayegi miss ho gayi ek din aur reh lenge koi farak nahi padta we'll go tomorrow so basically maybe all of us cannot afford that luxury but that calmness that peacefulness is something we all need to possess and i think you said the secret for that is meditation i think meditation twice a day at least and connecting with the lord physical mental spiritual fitness is very important read the scripture let but apply yes. them more apply them more in your life let's take one more practical question if suppose there is someone who doesn't heard any word of meditation doesn't know anything about it and you as a mentor you as a meditator yourself what advice what practical technique you can tell that person to simply meditate how to meditate yeah first i will tell that technique but firstly let me say that don't wait for retirement don't wait for being <laughs> 50 years old or something yes. start even at the age of 15 you should start meditating a little bit. because i have found that it is useful to us in throughout our lives i have seen young children meditating today and they are better off secondly the preliminary kind of techniques which we follow i can share one of them is basically trying to sit straight and observe your breath and just try to still the mind to concentrate on the breath and with the consciousness of god within you so god should be there in meditation meditation is concentration on god but when you are let's say you pray you have the divine divine experience you are praying to the divine you are sitting watching your breath or noticing your breath you start feeling peaceful in a while your heart rate goes down your pulse rate becomes not very calm your breath rate goes down your thoughts may still be coming but they will go down gradually so even sitting noticing your breath coming and not controlling it is a good technique to start later you can practice more techniques i follow yss of india.org which is a site and uh, they have given a lot of uh, techniques of meditation 
lot of means three or four techniques which followed one by one but also you have to be physically fit in order to meditate and sit with the spine straight have a straight posture and all these things will happen amazing sir amazing them ranchi is where uh, yss was started by paramanand sugana ranchi has the ashram of yss which is the most peaceful ashram i've ever seen beautiful thanks uh, a lot sir for joining today and uh, let this session and this beautiful podcast any la- last uh, words you would like to convey to the audience and any advice you have for me and i hope you have this enjoy the session thank you yeah it was a great session good questions and uh, fantastic conversation i think uh, basically cheerfulness is the mantra we should be cheerful people we should not be jaise main talks mein bhi bolta hu youngsters hasste hain rondu type nahi banne ki zarurat hai dukhi aata nahi hai Stay yes. cheerful, positive, and spread that vibe. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thanks a lot for joining today. And you can check out this podcast uh, on this our YouTube channel and also on the Spotify. Thanks a lot for joining, giving your time. Thank you. Podcast, a way to bliss, is hosted by Ashish, who has a deep desire to connect with people, to convert with people on their journey of yoga in search of bliss and their life transforming stories, which can heal your body, mind, and soul. If you find these conversations insightful please share with your close ones to heal their mind